Hi everyone, Alex Player here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to use GPT-3, the power of, uh, from OpenAI right into your Google Sheets. So this will help with categorization and organizing um, anything, anything really. Um, so example use would be if you've got an e-commerce store and you want to change the categories, or well, this is an easy way to do it. Uh, I'm going to be doing it with companies and people. So this is a normal Google Sheet, and I've just got a list of people and the company they work for. Before we start, to make this work, you will need a OpenAI API key, a link on how to get that below. And then you will need to add a script to the extensions and the app script, a link on how to do that also below. Right, now let's get started. Um, Right, now let's get started. First of all, thanks to Abby Raji for this, um, as this was his idea. Um, link to his YouTube channel below. Big up. Okay, so we have our companies. So what I'm going to do is create a bucket. So this is, you can just call this categories or whatever. This is the category list. So I have, what do we have here? I have an IT company. Got IT company, uh, toy, toy company, uh, supermarket, supermarket. Um, Sega, is that an IT company or a games company? I don't know. Um, okay, let's, let's leave that. I think all these can come on under three categories, really. Um, mother care. Okay. Child store. Is that what you would call it? Child. All right. Let's just go with that. So, um, what we need to do now is call up our categories. So, uh, this comprises of two, possibly three parts. So, we've got our categories, the input, and the rules. So first, let's tell it, so equal categories, open brackets, let's tell it which the categories are. Um, so that comes from the bucket of D2 to D5. So uh, D2, I'm doing dollars, so when I drag it, it stays static rather than being like D3, D4 etc so you, you wrap the letter in dollars d2 to d wrap five awesome and now we want to check this variable which will be on b2 b2 um we won't do any rules for now and hit enter so it's telling me ibm is an it company which it is Let's drag it down. Barbie, IT, IT, supermarket, supermarket, Marks and Spencer, mother care, child store. Perfect. And then we have a categories. Now what we can do is we can make rules because obviously there are exceptions. So let's say we want Marks and Spencer to actually be a supermarket. Oh, it is a supermarket. Let's say we want it to be a choice store. Uh, so let's make some rules down here. Rules. Um, anything that contains uh, Marks and Spencer is categorized as a, what, should, what do we say, child store? Child store. There we go. So now we just need to add this new rule. Uh, which is located at B13. So B13, let's wrap it dollar to dollar. Didn't think it like that. Da, da, da. Okay, let's get rid of that. D2 to D5, B13. Uh, to be 13 to itself. 
So now we have our rule made, we just need to implement that. So let's hop over by doing comma, that brings us over to rules. And our rules will be, let's say we've got a couple, so 13 to 14, uh, B13 to B14. Uh, we won't see any difference here because we've asked it to apply to MS. So let's drag that down. Um, that P16 and P17. And now we've got our rules made, uh, we just need to apply it. So let's hop over here. Uh, as you can see right now, we're in the input, but we want to add a rule. So our rule category will probably be from 13 to, we'll do a couple, 13 to 14. So B, we need to wrap it, B 13 to wrap it again, B 14 looking good uh, and that's it now we won't see any difference here because IBM is does not apply to the rule but if we drag that down then we got Marks and Spencer oh you're playing silly buggers now aren't you oh no that's right All right, let's try again. <clears throat> now we have our rules made. Um, we can add more if we win. Now we have our rules made. Uh, we can add more if we want. So let's pretend we've got one in 14 as well. Uh, let's add them in. So right now we are in the second one, which is input. So let's add a comma to move over to rules. And our rules live over at B13 to say B14. We want to wrap it up so we can drag it B13 to wrap it up B14. Perfect. Now we're not going to see any difference here because IBM is doesn't get affected by this rule. But if we drag that down. then Mark Suspenser is a child store. Fantastic. And next tutorial, I'll teach you how to use the AI um, rather than just category. Thank you.